Hello everybody and welcome back to our army Black Knights Dynasty. We are here for game number three against the North Carolina State Wolf Pack. We are 2-0 and and ranked number 17th in the nation. And it is raining. We all know I do not like games in the rain. Now, I don't know how any, but we're on a winning streak against non top 25 ranked schools. So, I just don't know how many because I'd have to go back at and look at past recordings to see and I'm in the same recording session as our last game against Air Force, so. Okay. It is first out of Ted, NC State, Ross going for the pass, and they caught by Quinn. And they get a nine yard. They got nine yards on the pass. Second down and one from the 29. And this is another televised game for us. And number 33 is close to a first. And they get called for clipping. So we are going to accept the penalty. And it is now second down and 15. Balls on the 15. And it's a fumble. And it's still on the ground. <laughs> but North Carolina State does pick it up. So it They're down in 20. Uh, they're the five yard loss on the fumble. Roth goes for the pass. Caught by Arrington. And they will punt. Okay. We are starting from North Carolina State 48. Now we're going to start off with the option. O'Neal pitches it off to Kirchhoff who gets incide the 30 to about the 29. Or to the 30. First down and 10. As Kirchhoff picks up a couple yards on the run. So we'll do the Counter trap run. Nancy is in the same part of the playbook as our curl route. And we are close to a first down, so we'll hand it out to Duckett. And see if we can get the first down here. Duckett does get a first down. And first down and 10. And we got the ball on 17. And the pitch, uh, Kershaw goes back. He loses about five yards on the option. Okay, second down and 15. Play action. And that, <laughs> we got lucky. Uh, O'Neill got hit. The ball was thrown really off. Third down and 15 from the Wolf Pack 22. Green and Trenchell just 
drop the ball. It's like he wasn't even trying to catch the ball. So we're going to try the field goal. And hopefully the wind's in our favor to help us. Okay. Because, uh, we've not. That's one thing that we haven't had luck with in recruiting is finding a kicker who can kick for distance. But the kick is up, and the kick is good, and we put up points first as we go up 3 nothing. Okay, well, after that great punt by North Carolina State, we're starting from our own two, and we're going to hand the ball off to Duckett to try to get a little bit of room here. And we got three. We'll do the option. It's probably not a good idea to do the option. Because if you're running in your own end zone. And that was not picked up well. As O'Neill got hit as he went to pitch it. Stay down in 11. And O'Neill overshoots Crenshaw on the screen pass, and we're going to punt. And Crenshaw picks it up! Holy God! <laughs> and the Moss punt recovery and <laughs> touchdown! Wow! Uh, I say it, I don't say it enough. I do not talk during punt returns and kickoff returns except for the opening kickoff. <laughs> and. I did not expect the ball to come back in play, and we get a touchdown on a muff punt kickoff return, and we're going to take the five-yard delay a game penalty uh, as I'm talking. First down and 10 from the 34, and the handoff goes to Crenshaw, who gets about two yards on the run. Here is our first attempt at throwing the wheel route, which we only had one successful wheel route attempt against Air Force, and that one was off Berlin's hands, or that could have been... That might have been a touchdown. And that one's, I think, caught by Berlin. But it's just short. We will go for it, because why not? We're close to the 50. We'll do quarterback draw. Under center, O'Neal is under center here, and he's just going to run up the middle. And he's going to bulldoze one guy, and then get tackled. First down and ten. O'Neal keeps it, and then he finally pitches it after about seven yards downfield. As we get enough on the option for a first down. Oh, Crenshaw got. He did just make it, though. So it wasn't totally, you know, as bad as it could have been. Second down and 10. Do need probably about 20 to 30 yards if we're even going to think of putting up some points before halftime.
Third down and two. And we're under a minute until halftime. Duckett with the ball. Duckett does get enough for the first. the catch inside the 20. We're going to call timeout. We are perfect in the red zone this season. And it's dropped by Bernard on the, our Berlin. We don't as I know, there's no one named Bernard. Second down and 10. From the 17. 22 seconds left. And the pass goes to the end zone. Novak catches it. And we're going to go up 17 nothing after the kick. So we're up 17 nothing at half. Uh, that was very good. Um... We did a better job, uh, I think, finishing, you know, we had the one touchdown in the right zone, uh, to Novak, but, uh, that first touchdown there on the muffed punt return, that was really that was cool. And it helped us uh, take what was looking like uh, North Carolina was probably going to score if they would have had the ball that drive. So we're going to uh, be back with the second half. First down and ten. From the eight. Oh, Neil breaks one. Uh, we tried to do the option there. Uh, I wanted to run O'Neill to the right side and pitch it. Uh, that didn't work because for some reason, instead of going sideways, we went up field. I think it was. With because of the fact that there was someone in the way. Long pass to Berlin on the wheel route, and that is going to be a touchdown! Around 70 some yard touchdown pass to Berlin, and we're going to go up 24 nothing. First down and 10. From North Carolina State, 36 after a really good punt return. And the juke gets Crenshaw by a defender, and that gives him enough for a first down as he picks up 15 on the play. First down and 10 from the 21. And off goes the Crenshaw. Crenshaw. Jukes back toward the center. And he has 68 yards in this one. Second down and two. And the draw. As Kreshaw picks up a couple. First down and goal from the 10. We run Berlin on the sweep, who gets uh, five yards, as he gets to the five yard line. Second down goal from the five. We're creeping closer to two minutes left, and this time the option play does not work, as we lose seven yards and go back to the twelve. 
Third down and goal. Now Neal goes back to throw. He th that was a very dangerous throw. Trying to get the ball to McLean. And that could have easily been picked off as there were three defenders. We will kick the field goal. Kick is up, and the kick is right down the middle. We're up 27 nothing. Ball on 29. We're back here with the fourth quarter. And we're going to get a couple yards on the option, or a yard. Take it down to nine. And, uh, and Shaw fumbles the ball and we could not recover it. Third down and 19. And that is intercepted by Stewart. That is Stewart's third interception of the season. Yeah, I think going option, even though option is risky. Uh, for going for it, I think option is the best choice. O'Neal. I don't know what that was. I mean, yeah, if I kept it with O'Neal, we had the first down. But we could have had a lot more yards. I don't understand why O'Neal had such a poor pitch to Crenshaw. Okay, so we'll win the game twenty seven to nothing. Uh we did we had a couple issues with the option play. Or no, we had one issue with the option and then Crenshaw by himself fumbled the ball too. But besides that, you know, it was pretty good. You know, we beat a ACC team, a team that was close to the top 25. They were ranked 30th coming into the game. And we shut them out, 27 nothing. Uh, Walton had five sacks and eight tackles in this game. Uh, everybody have a good day. Bye.